do it. Uh, This time and even forevermore. Hey man, I'll be reading the New Testament, Matthews eleven. 28 to 34 come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light amen, amen. at this time we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, reflection for two minutes and let us uh, respect the family if they say two minutes let us do two minutes and let us give somebody else a chance a lot of times when we get up and we get up like we say well the Holy Spirit I couldn't try to lose yes you can amen because the Holy Spirit do everything decent and, and, and order so at this time if you have anything to say you can do so but let us please keep it at two minutes Greetings to the family and all the friends that I hear from my brother E. I'm going to try to keep this at two minutes. I'm going to try to be obedient. I can speak on this brother for hours on hours. Try to make this work. He is one of those people, man, that... I wrote on Facebook that there are people you meet in your life that are game changers. To me, that's who this brother was. I was having a conversation with my wife the other night about E, and I was reflecting on all the time that we shared together, coming up, going to school, planning the projects, on the court from sunup to sundown. He played ball with me on my football team. Um, I was reflecting on his brother, and it's very rare that you meet people in your life that you can say, and I include myself in this, that you can say that this brother had nothing negative to say about anybody. As long as I spent time with him, I never heard him say anything bad about anybody. He's one of the most humblest brothers you ever want to meet in your life. This brother had a heart of gold and he was more than a friend to me and, and not just to me but to all of us that came up in Rock City man he was like family he was family you know like he was family there's nothing that I wouldn't do for this brother and I know there's nothing that he wouldn't do for me and to his family man his, his daughters his son you guys hold your head up high because your dad was a good man he was a great man. He was a great friend. He was a great brother. And, uh, and I'm going to miss him, man. I, I'm just going to miss this brother, man. This was a hard pill to swallow, man. There's some people that leave here that's really hard, man. And this was hard for me. I don't know. I don't know if that brother made peace with God. I pray that he did. Because if he did, I'll see him again. I will see him again if he made peace with God. And I will be remiss to stand up here and say, hey man, this place is not our home. This is temporary. Every last one of us that's standing out here today has to get right with God before we leave here. That's right. Make sure you get right with God. Make peace with God before you leave here so we can see everybody again. So we can see everybody again. I want to see all y'all. You follow? Have some of the best people in the world living here in Ufall, Alabama. I live in Atlanta now, but I tell them cats all the time. The best people I know and the best people I ever know.
lives in Uvalde. I love this brother. I love this family. I, I, y'all keep your head up and may God, the peace of God be with y'all always. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, who is the head of my life. Uh, to the family, just understand God doesn't make mistakes. We all got to do what he did. We got to leave here. So keep your heads up. Um, I'm gonna say a couple of things. I wanna say moments turn into memories. Moments turn into memories. Like my brother just said, I, I could stand up here and give you a, a list till we'll be here at six o'clock in the morning to about eight. But there was two I picked out that I thought were very meaningful to me and, and some of the people that came up in Rock City. And the first one is the black top. For some of you who don't understand the word black top, it means the basketball court in the project, Rock City. We have four goals out there. You have one court on the right side, one on the left side. If you're on the right side, that means you're the big boy. You got talent you can play with. On the left side, there was a cat that just didn't love the game, jump up, hadn't developed yet. One day, when I was young, I was on the left side. Dream of getting on the big side. One cat made for a basketball made one of me the most happy days of my life. This cat came over to the little court, asked me that I want to play with him. And this guy's name was Emmanuel Thomas. He came over, picked me to play with him with the big boys. And I said to myself, all right, I gotta make this happen. I'm not going back to the, to the small court because he seen something in me to pick me on his team, and I did that. As time went on, we did so much. So I asked E, like, E, why did you pick me that day, man? He was like, well, everybody know that you can shoot. But there was something else in you. I seen your toughness, your, your rebound, and you, you don't like to lose, and I needed that on my team. And I said, E, I appreciate him forever grateful for that. Okay, my second moment turned into memories. Our trip to Dallas. We do a trip every year to Dallas. Katie Jens. And Emmanuel would be the, always be the first somebody asked, Hey man, are we gonna meet tonight? When we meet again, when we meet him again, when we meet again. He always wanted to be a part. And that was the greatest thing that I loved about Emmanuel. I was sharing it with him. Friend, three minutes ago. That's one thing I liked about Emmanuel. You always want to share and be a part. And I said to each and every one, get your life in order. It's not promising. You don't never know the day. You don't never know the hour. But like the Bible says, it goes for everybody. Nobody is exempt. One day, one day, every knee got to bow, and one day, every tongue has got to confess that Jesus is Lord. And the last remember, I remember of this brother right here about a month and a half ago, I was walking. And I didn't know who that was. I see somebody coming toward me. And it was Emmanuel. And me and him stood outside the road over on Randolph Street and talked about 45 minutes. We talking about the old time. I would never thought it didn't happen, but you got to be ready when Jesus comes into this family. Keep your head up. Keep looking to the hip of which cometh all your help. All your help don't come from man. Your help coming from the Lord. We've been made and do it for a night. But joy, come in the morning. God bless you. He was my other son. Him and my biological son was born on the same day, same day, and same year. So he was my other son. And to you, I'll always wish you baby.
the Sudan raised them to be one family and they did just that. What they shared, whatever they had, they shared it. And Imei raised his children the same way they only have each other. What everyone have, they share it. When I tell you a man that loves his kids and his kids that love their daddy, they are so possessive, even when they're talking to each other. It's my daddy. It's my daddy. They're very possessive, <coughs> very. A brother-in-law that you can't trade. I don't care how long, he will always be my brother-in-law. The best man. One thing I do know, he had love for my sister. Like, unbelievable. He did everything for my sister. You don't find people like that anymore. Genuine, real. You can talk to him about anything. He always had an ear. My kids was his kids. His kids was my kids. It's just hard. It's unreal, y'all. It's unreal. But we have to accept it and go on. But it's hard. It's hard, y'all.
by the grace of the Lord, I've come a long way. By the grace of the Lord, I've come a long way. By the grace of the Lord, I've come a long way. By the grace of the Lord, I've come a long way. My cousin Shem wanted me to read her poem. I know my cousin loved her dad, so I want to make sure it gets done. So, it's titled Best Dad. See, my daddy was a good man. See, y'all just don't understand. He walked around with his head high and a hat on his head. He always had a big smile that rested upon his face. His favorite team was the Dallas Cowboys. Ohio can hear you screaming at the TV. Lord knows I would jump because it would scare me. The other day God called you home so you could go to your dwelling place. We didn't know much about that day.